Hey you guys, it's that time. Pick a story where in one of the decks or all of the decks could be a story or a message for you. Uh, so what I like to do is to hold each deck up to the camera for you to see if it's resonating, starting with deck number one. Could your story or message be here in deck number one? Or is it in deck number two? Could your story or message be here in deck number two? Or is it in deck number three? Could your story or message be here in deck number three? All right, I hope you have made your selection. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and begin with deck number one. We have the Nine of Wands, Five of Knives, Eight of Knives, Father of Wands, Ten of Coins, Overall Energy, The World, Ace of Wands, and the devil. Okay. So, seems like you guys may have been dealing with some sort of temptation. Um, maybe you've been dealing with a lot of intense energies. Um, in a romantic situation, definitely seems like there is someone who maybe you've been having some sort of chemistry with, but at the same time, you know that this person um, is trouble. And it seems like something may have happened where, you know, whatever this was that you were dealing with, I feel like you have closure or you can move on um, or something has been basically fulfilled so if you were dealing with any type of temptation even if it was having something to do with you know things that you're not supposed to be indulging in smoking eating drinking um it it seems like maybe you got your feel and now you're like ready to move on or uh let that go um You also could have been feeling like you were in some sort of codependent situation or maybe you felt smothered or trapped. And still, even with that, I feel like maybe you no longer feel um, trapped or claustrophobic. If you felt too like your job had been eating a lot of your energy, your time. Um, maybe you've decided to move on from that role, find something else, or maybe at least you're considering it. Also, anything that is kind of like some sort of karmic debt, some sort of heavy burden that you were dealing with, something that you needed to fulfill. I feel that that obligation has been fulfilled. So I feel like you're done with some kind of karma or some sort of toxic situation. I don't know why I'm getting the image of like something has been a tease. Hmm. Like maybe you gave somebody a taste of something just so that they would go away. I don't know. It's like something was just a tease. And I kind of feel like, okay, you've got your your little taste or your little feel. Um, now, will you let me go? Or maybe there was something that you were curious about and you were like, okay, I have my little, my little taste. Now I can let that go. 
So this can be dealing with any type of situation. Any situation could be something um, definitely sexually charged. Um, career. And you also too, like I feel like you had to let go of any type of um, person that may have draining your energy. Like you had to block them. Now, it still seems like even though something has ended or is getting ready to come to an end, you are still needing to overcome some sort of doubts or insecurities you're having. Um, maybe something has taken a toll on you. Um, and it's kind of like now you're just, you know, having to push yourself or like be your own cheerleader so that you can keep pushing forward. You also might feel kind of like alone or like now you have to do something alone. If you have been in a situation where you were codependent on somebody else, maybe you finally got rid of that, but now it means that you have to do something on your own. You know, I feel like you'll get through it. You just have to keep pushing, but I do feel like you'll make it through. Um, hmm. I feel like you also need to have thick skin because I feel like you might have manipulative energies around you or people who are playing mind games. Um, there may be some sort of miscommunication going on with you and other people or just because you're wanting to be independent or do something alone or on your own you may be causing other people to feel offensive for whatever reason. Maybe people want you to be codependent or maybe people kind of feel like, oh, you think you too good, you can do this by yourself or you don't need my help or you don't need, you know, like something's going on where I, I kind of feel like maybe you're being uh, judged. And it seems like things that people are saying could possibly get into your head and make you overthink your decisions or second guess your decisions. Um, but I feel like you're needing to go ahead and overcome your fears. Mm. I feel too like even though you are getting ready to, you know, do something on your own, take some sort of a big step. It seems like there is somebody waiting for you, waiting to be waiting to assist you, waiting to um, give you a sense of security. There may be a fire sign that has got your back um, or feels the need to protect you. I kind of feel like somebody is encouraging you and somebody is like, you got it. Like you got to keep going. I'm right here, you know, just a little further. I just kind of feel like somebody is giving you some sort of guidance. Um, they might not necessarily be reaching out to grab your hand. It's like you have to go through some sort of maze on your own first, or you have to cross some sort of bridge on your own, but they're waiting for you on the other end. So, and I feel like once you reach them, you know, there is this sense of accomplishment and you feeling like this, you know, there's a big payoff and it does seem like there's a big payoff um, waiting for you. You also may have been worried about whether or not you were gonna get uh, called back for something um, or if you were going to receive some sort of money, maybe it seems like money is owed to you, but um, they're holding on to it. I don't know who maybe it's, you know, some sort of inheritance and family won't let you have it. Or maybe it's some sort of um, something that's just owed to you from a company or something. And it seems like they're holding on to your money, but I feel like it's going to be released to you. 
And I feel like if this is, you know, say for instance, this is supposed to be something like direct deposit and it's late. I just feel like in that sense, there's a glitch in the system. It's something electrical that's going on that needs to be taken care of. You might be having technical issues, period, with some sort of, um, with your phone, your computer, anything. There may be some sort of technical issues. Mm. Also, in regards to anything that you may have filled out and it's taken a while for you to hear back or hear from some sort of response, um, you might just want to make sure that you completed information correctly. You may have overlooked something um, and they haven't reached out to you. So say you're waiting to hear back from somebody. You might need to take the initiative to check and see what happened um, because it's, it's like maybe they just not never got back around to calling you or whatever but there may be something that you completed and it's just like oh you put the wrong information down I wasn't paying attention I filled this out during mercury retrograde you know uh, this got overlooked so yeah I, I kind of feel like there may be something that you're needing to check in in with and you also seem like you're a little hesitant or afraid because maybe you feel like something's going to be bad news um, but it really seems like there are some sort of communication errors Going back to a love situation, I feel that I feel like some of you have been dealing with your inner demons or you've been doing some kind of shadow work. I feel like you learned what you needed to learn. Mm. It still seems though like there's distance or miscommunication between two people. Somebody is, I feel like two people are very good at playing mind games with each other. Um, two people are both very good at giving each other silent, the silent treatment. Um, hmm. Yeah, so I, I mean, it depends on the relationship and who this is with, but ultimately like something is just in your head something may just be an illusion or may not be as bad as you think um or you are having to not you're having to learn how to be confident and not let what someone is saying to you get to you trust your own intuition trust your own decisions Hmm. Now also looking at the, just the way they depicted some of these images, for some of you, you might be feeling insecure about your physical appearance. Um, anything from your hair to your face to your body. I feel like the right person only sees your beauty. They, they're they not seeing what you see. I feel like they want you to see what they see and eventually you will. Matter of fact, you might think that someone doesn't like you or isn't attracted to you because of what other people have told you or said to you or because of something that somebody did to you in the past. Uh, but I, I feel like that's all in the past. This is this person is different. Some of you are also maybe afraid to move forward with somebody because you're concerned about what 
you're you're concerned about somebody's approval, whether it is your father, a father figure, or just somebody that you respect. Um, or maybe this is happening to you. Somebody may be afraid to move forward with you because of other people's opinions, especially, you know, their father or um, their um, father figure. Mm. Yeah, I see insecurities coming to an end. I also feel that maybe someone's been lonely or depressed. Someone may be lashing out or being mean to you because they're lonely or depressed and don't really know how to express properly how they feel. Also, I just picked up that you might need to cleanse your space or your energy. Um, whether it's through smudging or if you take some sort of spiritual bath. Because I feel that there is a negative entity uh, lingering around. Some people like to be like... You know, oh, the devil is busy. You know, whether that is how you look at it, I personally just kind of feel like, okay, there's a negative energy here. There's a negative energy lingering. Like, so there may be something going on where you need to clear out your personal space because there's something that, that may be attached. Somebody's defense mechanism is going up, and I also feel that somebody is being um, paranoid about a friendship. Like somebody may be acting distant or funny because they feel that you're talking about them. Um, or somebody is feeling threatened by your friendship with someone, someone else. I also feel that maybe someone who's trying to be overprotective is actually just causing frustrations. It's causing more of a hindrance. There also may take a mediator to fix a situation. Somebody who's able to interpret what you are saying and then interpret what the other person is saying and get both parties to understand. In a love situation, I feel that someone is confused about how they feel about you. Um, or it's like they can't stop thinking about you.
it's like one minute this person feels like it's safe to approach you or to come forward. And then something happens where they start to feel like maybe they misinterpreted your signals um, and they get confused. But I do feel like eventually this person will come towards you. That's if you're being pursued by somebody. Um, if you're already in an established relationship, there may be some things that need to be cleared up. I feel like a situation needs to be confronted um, and eventually it will. You definitely may need to take the high road. Hmm. I feel like there's a family secret that's going to be revealed. Wherever there has been some sort of confusion, there's going to be clarity. Another situation I have is that it's been difficult keeping something a secret. Like maybe, and this is more so if you've been in an established relationship for a while. It's like maybe uh, this person is trying to plan some sort of surprise engagement and maybe they've been communicating with family members and trying to orchestrate something. And so because there's some sort of strange energy between you and your family members or you and your person is, you know, it's just becoming harder and harder for somebody to keep this secret. It's like, man, I don't want to give it away, but I'm trying to surprise them. So I feel like because somebody is trying to keep something under wraps, trying to keep something a surprise is, is causing some sort of, you know, problems, but everybody's going to feel better once the truth comes out. If somebody is getting ready to be uh, to get married, I feel like uh, there's definitely going to be some sort of last minute jitters or cold feet. Okay, some mixed signals going on here. I feel like this may still have something to do with this fire energy, this fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius, that is trying to mediate a, secret, a situation but in secret. Like, I don't know, I just kind of feel like they're going to one person, getting information from them, then going to the other person and telling them what they said. And they're trying to remedy a situation. They're trying to help. Um, they're asking indirect questions. They're trying to get some sort of answers from you so that they can help someone else get to you or fix some sort of situation. They're like, oh, okay, I don't know why it has to be done this way. Um, especially more so by somebody's family member, like someone who's supposed to be like your in-law or will eventually become like an in-law. This person is doing something to try to assist your relationship or what's, what could be a relationship. It's kind of like a matchmaking energy. I don't know why they're they're being used as uh, a third party to orchestrate this though. Um, the the other the only other thing I'm picking up is that the the person that they're doing this for, for whatever reason, they may either feel extremely shy 
or if you know this person, they feel like they messed up so bad that they can't come to you directly. So they're trying to get their sister, their brother, their cousin or somebody to help. Um, I feel like someone's trying to protect or preserve a union. And then also in regards to relationship, if there's anything going on where um, you don't want other people invited, it's like you're having to do something in secret, like maybe you're eloping or maybe you are, you can't fully disclose where you're getting married um, because you just don't want certain people to know or, you know, invite themselves or whatever. It's just like you're trying to keep something under wraps. Now, in a money situation, I feel like somebody is, somebody has money. But they may be saying that they don't or or they don't have money, but they're trying to put on the illusion like they do. Hmm, so it could go either way. Also, I feel like there may be something significant about an earth sign. Either you're dealing with them or they're coming towards you. Yep. If you are in school or not in school, I feel like somebody's about to get a certificate to be um, an of officiator, someone who actually marries people. So that might also be something that I'm picking up on. All right, so let's move on to deck number two. You have the King of Cups, the Hierophant, the Sun, The Ten of Cups, Temperance, Overall Energy, Knight of Pentacles, Three of Swords, and the King of Swords. All right, so Okay, so I'm getting a relationship situation first. Um, I kind of feel like an air and an earth sign may have broken up or are taking some sort of temporary break. Or if you're both single, I feel like you run into your ex um, or you're about to. Um, Someone seems as if they're getting ready to open up or share some sort of a secret. They're going to reveal their hidden feelings um, or you are about to learn some sort of secret or hidden information. Some of you I feel like are getting ready to be promoted, like you're, you're getting ready to get uh, some sort of offer and I feel like you are accepting this offer and I feel like you're going to be celebrating and you are going to have some sort of emotional fulfillment something's going to be everything that you want I feel like maybe you're about to land your dream job um, or maybe you really feel like you're living a dream this week you're like this is my dream job I'm so happy you know so I feel like you are super excited about just life itself because you get, you're get you getting something that you really, really wanted. 
Um, I feel that your faith is also being restored in something that you have been hurt about or you gave up on. I feel like your faith is being restored. Um, if you have been heartbroken and swore off love, I feel like for some of you, um, that's going to change. Like something happens where you're like, I didn't think I was going to find uh, love again. I didn't think I was going to find my soulmate, but here this person is, you know, this is my ideal person, you know, and I feel like whoever is coming towards you, I feel like they're serious and or they're wanting something serious. I feel like this person's intuitive, uh, compassionate, and I feel like this is this is someone who is just ready to commit, ready for the responsibility of a relationship. And this is someone who's maybe uh, either talked about having children or depending on your age, Maybe this is just two people who who already have children and is still kind of like a merge between families. Now, in regards to your spiritual path, I feel like I feel like you're embracing your gifts or some sort of gift is um, being revealed to you. And it's like you are being um, spiritually initiated because I feel that things are going to be revealed to you that you weren't ready for at first but now that you are um, there's like a veil being removed it's like okay here's another veil being removed you know you weren't able to um, have dreams but now you are you weren't able to see spirits but now you are so I just kind of feel that you know, if you do start to experience more unusual spiritual things or um, paranormal activities or just metaphysical experiences this week, even as far as seeing, you know, um, um, interdimensional beings in the air or whatever, I feel like that's because you're ready to see them now. So, yeah. It's like spirit is removing some sort of veil or at least a layer of veils so so that you can have these experiences. Um, some of you are also stepping into your purpose or realizing that you're meant to heal or that you can heal people. Um, you also may be healing yourself in a sense. But I do feel like you're happy and excited because you feel like you have purpose. You also may be testing out your spiritual gifts for the first time. Something seems like a grand opening or like this is um, this is what you've been keeping secret. This is what you've been working on in the dark. Um, and you're ready for everybody to see what you've created or what you've um, some sort of gift that you've been hiding. You're just ready for people to see it. And I do feel that you're going to have success if you are starting a business or if you're getting a promotion. Um, I feel like you're going to be successful. Hmm. I feel like your spirit is also going to be renewed or purified. You seem to be really feeling yourself this week. I feel like good things are coming in. You might just feel that um, you are experiencing the grace of the universe and receiving all that's due to you. I just feel that you know, you're really happy about some things that are happening. Maybe it feels good too to finally get rid of someone or something. I can even see something like being removed, like maybe you got a tooth removed. Um, maybe you got some sort of mole removed. Um, 
something surgically removed and you're just happy about it and you feel much lighter and you're like, oh, it feels so much lighter to have this removed. Um, also, you may have had to have some sort of minor surgery um, or minor procedure to help with uh, childbirth. Matter of fact, it seems like for some of you, maybe you are giving birth um, pretty soon. Like you're having a, a beautiful, healthy baby. Uh, it could be a son. It could be any, you know, gender, but it does seem like it's a son. Um, if it's a girl, I just feel like her energy is going to be very strong. Um, maybe she will... Well, I feel like either one, either of the children or child that you have is they're going to get a lot of attention. Mm. You also may be feeling very creative this week, too. And, you know, your imagination could be running well. Maybe you're writing like some sort of love story or any type of story. But it's because you feel like super creative and, you know, I just feel like you're all in your imagination and things are just like flowing out of you. You're like, oh, my God, I didn't know I could tell stories. Or I didn't know that this was inside of me. So I feel like you are having some sort of very cool um, self-discovery about a talent, like a hidden talent or a gift that you have. Now, also, you could be dealing with anybody. I, I know I picked up water, but there's also uh, air, earth, and Sagittarius. Maybe Leo. Mm. Seems like you could be getting a lot of attention, though. Also, your family could be expanding. Um, if you aren't having a baby, then maybe somebody in your family is. Or maybe someone's getting ready to visit or move in. I also feel that you may be invited to to something that is uh, not a lot of people know about. It might be like a secret party or something. In a love situation, definitely seems like you guys are falling in love. Hmm. Or on a flip side. It's, it's a breakup or an ending, but it's like happy for everybody. It's like, well, it ended, but it was fun while it lasted. Um, you know, it's just a happy ending. No hard feelings. Hmm. Yeah, this could actually just be like a happy breakup for some of you. The other thing, though, is that if it is a new person, um, it's kind of like this. They're helping you move on from someone else. Um, something else I was just getting. Hmm. Yeah, it could be that they're helping you move on from someone else. Also, it seems like you're getting ready to be released from one thing so that you can move on to something else. Something more your speed or something that you dreamed about doing.
definitely a uh, dream job uh, energy is coming through. Okay, so I feel like some of you are going to be visited by one of your ancestors, somebody that crossed over. I feel like they're going to be visiting you in your sleep. Um, especially if, if this is someone that you were hoping to hear from or needed to hear from. It's like this is the best way for them to, you know, reach you or get through to you is in a dream. Um, this person may be a fire sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Libra. Also, if there is some sort of guilt that you've been holding on to, I feel like somebody doesn't want you to feel guilty. I feel like you're also going to feel validated about your talent or gifts. I feel like you're going to feel validated. Um, I'm seeing too like a shy person gaining confidence. If you're normally shy. I feel like you're going to have a surge of confidence. If a relationship has been tainted, I feel like it's going to be purified. I kind of feel like there's also forgiveness. I just feel like people are washing their hands. Hmm. Something is also coming off as protection. You might feel as if you're being protected. Especially like in a physical sense, like all of a sudden you feel some sort of shield around you or some sort of warmth around you. Um, I feel that you're going to feel like there's an energy protecting you. Yeah. All right. So let's see what messages are coming out in deck number three. Ooh. Mixing the cards up. Ooh. 
We have Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, The Chariot, King of Pentacles, Overall Energy, Ace of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, and the Hanged Man. All right. So you guys may have been doing some sort of meditating um, or just isolating yourself. Maybe you've been waiting to receive some sort of answers or confirmation from the universe. I feel like regardless if you feel that things have been on hold or at a standstill, it's, it's been to prepare you. I feel that there is something forming or something's being created. Something is being like weaved like your life, this new beginning. You're creating some sort of new pattern for yourself. Um, it just seems like something is like baking in the universal, the universe oven. And, you know, all of a sudden it's like, ding, you know, your your manifestation is ready. So I feel that something, this is about you manifesting something new. Um, and then I feel that there is something valuable or you're realizing was valuable to you. You may also realize that you have some sort of money making idea. I feel like there's opportunities coming to you in regards to career. Mm. You may be focused on your finances. I feel like money is, is slowly, slowly coming in, something like trickling in. And something is just about ripe. Um, I feel like something's going to be revealed to you to show that you're on the right track. Um, or something's going to be revealed to you to show you, um, to give you faith. It's like, okay, see what's, see what happens. See, it's happening. You know, you just got to be patient. You just got to keep holding on because something's getting ready to happen. So it does seem like something is marinating and something is like, you know, just getting more and more flavorful. Um, and even if this is you and who you are, maybe you've been doing things um, in regards to your physical health and you're about to see some sort of manifestation of what you've been thinking about or working on. You know, you've just been waiting for something and it's about to blossom. You're about to see something. Mm. Yeah, I, I feel like there's definitely something in regards to career happening. Maybe you're going to get offered some sort of new position or maybe you're creating your own um, job or finding ways to make your own money. If you are creative, in a sense, I, like I said, I feel that you have some sort of money-making idea. I feel like you're gonna lay like a golden egg, like something's gonna bring you success. Mm. You also may not realize the, the roots that's been established, the things that whatever it is that you start, you plant it, your seed in the universe, and I just feel like you don't know. You don't you don't realize what's been happening or how you've been affecting 
um, how your energy has been affecting the universe. But I feel like it, it's in a positive sense. You just don't realize it. Um, in a relationship, I feel that somebody's thinking about you a lot and wanting to establish roots with you. They want like a long term foundation with you and they want it to be steady. Something's going on where it seems like you've been looking at your situation from different angles. And it's like finally something opens up to you, something makes sense to you, and you have clarity. Something seems like it's been complicated, but you're going to understand it. You're going to have an understanding. Hmm. You may start to understand how powerful your mind is. It's like you're not realizing how powerful you are. And I'm not sure, you know, in regards to what, but it, I just feel like you don't realize the power that you're putting out into the universe or that you have within you. Hmm. Sometimes it seems like maybe you get confused or you, you know, you are in denial or you don't believe something. If something is revealed to you or if you end up manifesting something that you just simply thought about, um, your initial response might be like, I didn't do that. Like, there's no way that I did that. And then it's kind of like, you're like, yes, the hell I did. I did that. And I feel like you become very confident and want to understand and know more about how you're able to manifest, you know, what you did. Something is going to give you courage. And I feel that you are going to feel inspired to like push forward with something. Seven, seven may be significant for you. Um, I kind of feel like it's having something to do with divine intervention and just having the ability to see things from a different angle or perspective. I do feel like something is giving you an edge over other competitors uh, in career. Even if this is a love situation and maybe there's, you know, several people that are interested in who you have your eye on. I feel like you're the one who is standing out. This person may be drawn to you. I also feel that you are... You're pushing your own boundaries or you may may push your own limit. You're like, let me let me put let me see how far I can go. Let me see exactly what I can do. It's something you're going to do where I feel like you're testing your own boundaries, but you're also setting boundaries with other people. You also may need to take the high road in a situation. Or if you feel torn, torn, if you feel torn about uh, a situation, I feel like you are going to do what's best for you. And don't worry about, you know, what other people are saying or, you know, just do what's best for you. Hmm. Now, for some of you, I feel that there's a, you might have to put some money into your car or you're getting ready to purchase a new car. But yeah, I feel like some money may have to go into your car. Not a whole lot, but something. Even if this is about putting money towards a trip or rent a car, 
you may be getting ready to take a trip. Mm. I, I feel too like your overall energy is about having patience because something is taking a long time to happen. But like I said, it, I, I feel like something's going to be revealed to you to like inspire you so that you'll keep going forward or so that you'll know you're on the right track. You also could be dealing with a cancer or an earth sign. Career-wise, it seems like it's something that you're really wanting to do, but you've been afraid. Oh. Hmm. I feel like you've got people in your corner Yeah, seems like you've got people in your corner, especially uh, fire and water. Maybe people are encouraging you to, you know, take some sort of move towards your goals or your dreams. In a love situation, I feel that there's a couple of people that want to approach you. And they've been thinking about this for a while. Eventually, I do feel like someone's going to ask you out. Or there's going to be a reconciliation. And someone may be wanting to, you know, start off as friends and see where things go. Whatever you believe in, I feel like you need to stand your ground in regards to what it is that you believe in. Don't let people talk you out of something. There may be an earth sign who feels like you guys are destined to be together. Um, and it seems like maybe this person is gradually making their way towards you. I, I also feel like somebody has been in denial or maybe they weren't sure at first, but it's like once this person has made up their mind, they're coming forward. So yeah, this is one of those situations where I kind of feel like somebody is wanting to see like what you would think about something first. They're going to kind of throw an idea out there just to see how you would respond or react. They want to know how you feel about it before they actually do it.
Somebody is trying to hide how much they love you or how much they're in love with you. Or maybe you're doing this. Um, but somebody is trying to hide their how in love they are. And I feel like someone's also trying to avoid falling in love. Especially if this is air and earth energies. Someone is trying to learn how to trust again. I feel like somebody travels for a living. I also feel that somebody is getting ready to make a trip. Someone is maybe getting ready to move in or visit. One of the two. And it also feels like somebody is ready to move on from one situation and go into another. Mm. Seems like you are making amends with someone. Two people are like both making an amends and just ready to put the past behind them. There also could be something happening around uh, Capricorn season, like the trip or the move could happen around Capricorn season. Someone also may have been keeping their distance because they felt like they were inadequate or did not have enough for you. But it seems like maybe someone has evolved or they feel like they've grown and now they're ready to come forward. And it seems like just in general, there is something that you may be getting ready to pursue. Like you're ready for something. You're just like, okay, let's do this. There's also someone who may have still been in your energy. Um, and maybe this person has been trying to manifest you, but it's been like a very long process. Um, so I don't know that you're gonna like this particular ex but I do feel like there's one of your exes that's been trying to manifest you. And they've been thinking about you. They never let you go. They still love you, even if you haven't been communicating or talking with this person. Um, I feel like this person is into metaphysical things, including remote viewing and astral traveling, things dealing with metaphysics and dreaming and all of that. Um, 
This also may be their preferred method of keeping tabs on you. They can just close their eyes and they can see what you're doing. They can see if you're happy. Um, yeah. If you feel yourself becoming very emotional about this person from time to time, those may be the times where you guys are telepathically connected or the times where they're really trying to channel you, really trying to call out to you. Um, but I feel like, you know, you've also just been especially more so if you're single. You've been just trying to heal and focus on yourself and you've been practicing like self-love. Even though you still might be confused about certain things, about love and relationships, seems like sometimes you feel torn between heart and logic. Um, I do feel like ultimately someone decides to pursue or listen to their heart. Yeah. Yeah, so those are the messages that I'm getting. Hopefully some things have resonated. Uh, feel free to leave your feedback. Thank you guys for watching. Sydney Love and Grace.